Meet GDB client Michael Woody and his guide dog, Yellow Lab Hopper. They are seated next to each other on a park bench. So my name is Michael Woody and this is my guide Hopper. Photo of Michael and Hopper on a waterfront path. I, I am a veteran. I served the United States Air Force uh, for four years. So I was a uh, police officer in Detroit, Michigan. Um, and uh, I started experiencing vision problems probably back in 2010. Uh, I wasn't quite sure. I thought I just needed a pair of glasses. Um, and I went into my optometrist and then he sent me to an ophthalmologist. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. And probably every year for the last 12 years, I've had surgeries, uh, countless surgeries, um, all to try and save and save my vision. Um, I was diagnosed with uh, pigmentary dysplasia glaucoma. I still have some vision out of my peripherals, but um, it's, it's enough to just kind of make things out. Uh, my brain fills in the rest. Um, and what my brain doesn't capture or warn me of, Hopper sure does. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. Ever since I was 18, I've always been in somebody else's uniform, wearing somebody else's haircut, uh, all that stuff. And when I finally retired from the police department, uh, what, five years ago, I've been on this journey of just trying to find myself and just kind of sit in a space that, that God wants me to be in. And this is the path that he wants me on. And he's put all of you fine people from GDB and my family, uh, tremendous support from my family. And I couldn't be any more gracious uh, for and humbled for everything that everybody's done for me. Um, it was a very scary start uh, to what I'm considering a very adventurous uh, journey at this point. In the past two weeks, my life has just completely turned around. Michael and Hopper walk along a nature trail with views of water, neighborhoods, and blue skies with white fluffy clouds. Uh, before coming here, you know, I've I had a lot of dark days, you know, losing my vision so late in life and uh, there was a lot, a lot to be concerned about, a lot to worry about. Um, but, you know, in the last two weeks, meeting everybody here uh, at Guide Dogs for the Blind, they, they just took such good care of me. And I didn't have to think about anything, but, you know, just learning how to, how to work with Hopper. And I don't just have a, a guide. He's not just a tool for me to use, but he's, he's a companion and a friend. And it's, it's an amazing experience from where I was just two weeks ago when things were just kind of grim, you know? I'm just so excited about it all. Oh man, when we get home, I'm so looking forward to just introducing him to, to my wife and to our family. And we I am constantly on the move. <laughs> we don't just sit still. We got a lot of work to do, a lot of training and a lot of routes to learn, but uh, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. So the message that I want to send to all the donors and the sponsors is that I know it's, it seems like it's just an easy thing to write a check or to give support, but for someone like me, um, I would say that you have really changed my life. Um, you've put me in a place that I never thought I would ever be in again. And I can't thank you enough. Um, it's because of you that, me and Hopper, Team Whopper as we're called, are gonna take on this thing called life. And I really feel confident and that's all because of you and everything that you do. So thank you. Michael gives Hopper a big hug. For more information about Guide Dogs for the Blind, please visit our website at guidedogs.com or call us at 800-295-4050.